This is the 13th of October 2017. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. This is uh, sugar cane bagasse after pre-treatment. Fred? Yeah. No, we just stopped it. Anyway, press cake. We had uh, added water to the material. The material we're pressing is uh, this material. If I take a clump of this, I can squeeze water from it. It's all there. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can get a little bit of water out. This press cake here. Something water had to have fallen on that. The press cake was coming out dry. Using a perforated screen with uh, my perforations. What's the perf size here, Fred? 060? Oh, 050, oh, one and a quarter millimeter diameter holes there. This is a model CP10 screw press. I take that back. This is a KP pen with a rotating cone. So we're diluting this material down to find out what it does when diluted. Fred's parents sent him to college so he could learn how to do this job. Backing up some more, this is sugar cane bagasse after hydrolysis. This uh, KP press is, like all serious KP presses, um, has a short L over D. The length of the screen is only three times the diameter of the screw. That is, in a 10-inch press, we're looking at a 30-inch screen. Uh, we would need a longer L over D, as in a series CP or VP screw press, uh, to remove adequate water from this. Here's the dilute flow going in, so we're getting out more fresh liquor and uh, trying to feed it faster, looks like it's plugging off. Yep, things looking good here. get it and yet the other sample over here this other material we ran if I get this and I when I squeeze this look at all the water falling out I can do that with every pistol this, this stuff is unacceptably wet I would imagine this is Wednesday, the 18th of October, a few days after we used this press. We're trying a smaller press now, CP6. It has a longer L over D, 4 to 1, compared to 3 to 1 length of the screen divided by the diameter of the screw. And um, so we're making press cake. We're running at 60 hertz here, which turns out to be about 18 and a half RPM. Uh, we're going to hold 40 PSI air pressure on these air cylinders throughout this testing. 
and uh, okay, going well in there. You're keeping up real well. And it may have bridged. See no water coming out, yeah. so poke it with a stick. Okay, apparently that's just all that this one does. It wasn't bridged. Cake coming out. This is the original material. This press cake from a KP16 press. Uh, this is uh, um, after a free treatment. Uh, sugar cane, bagasse, cellulosic ethanol. We're going to start a time test. Okay, we're running a second test here. Catching press cake. The flow of press liquor, as we can see, is very slight. We're not getting much water out of this press cake. It's already been pressed once. Uh, so no drama dramatic improvement. But um, any, oh, right now we're running at 20 hertz. The previous test was at 60 hertz, so we're down to 6.2 RPM. Same screen, a wedge wire screen with a 15 to 25, 20,000 slot width. So we're winding up the second test. We got baggies of sample there. This is what the cake looks like coming out. Comes out slow at 20 hertz. Fresh liquor coming out. a failed test. Uh, you see hardly any cake coming out. Low flow of liquid. And yet this material, we've uh, rehydrated it, had a lot of water, and um, put it in the press. You see it churning in the press. That is the, should be going to the left. Instead, the material just churning around because the screw can't push it into the screened area. If I uh, notice how much water is coming out, hit reverse button. That's the second one over. And now we'll run it backwards. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Now hit forward. And so we hit forward on the VFD. And uh, we unblind the screen by running it backwards. We're replacing the wet wire screen with a perforated screen. Here's the perforated screen. It's got pretty small holes in it. Looks like 50 thousandths, uh, one and a quarter millimeter. Anyway, here's a screw of the press. We have emptied it out. Have a, a feeder portion up to the first tooth. First stage of compression, pretty long pitch. Another tooth, second stage of compression, third, fourth, and final fifth with a tight pitch down here. I see this one's been pie cut to relieve compression. But anyway, that's the configuration of the screw and the press that we're using. Five stages of compression, four to one L over D. Yeah. This keeps up, we're home free. Sometimes a perforated screen makes all the difference in the world. I've got the cone closed at 45 psi, three bars, same as we've had all day. Okay, it is continuing to have a much heavier flow of water. Uh, world of difference between the two screens. The level uh, going down, we're collecting press liquor and press cake in a time test. We're uh, 33 seconds into the time test. Okay, we're feeding the KP10, 45 hertz, and running a time test here. Not a whole lot of press liquor, same as before. A lot of slugs. This is an, looks like an 050 perf. And okay, here it is the next day, and uh, we're using some of the residual. Uh, this is press cake from a KP16, feeding it into our. 6 inch press running the same 60 hertz, same 45 psi on the uh, discharge air cylinder. Uh, cake coming out uh, like it did yesterday. And uh, 
We're using the perforator screen. Yesterday we had the wedge wire screen when we ran this test. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any difference, but we're going to run a, a throughput capacity test. This is the 20th of October 2017, Friday the 20th. We still have some of this material left over, uh, our scale, and this is a CP4 lab press, a little four inch press. Um, has a discharge cone, and uh, it does narrow down to four inches from eight inches at the top. So uh, we're starting out with a fine screen, fine slotted screen, uh, eight to ten thousandths of an inch, uh, 250 millimeters, and uh, microns rather. And here's one that's uh, closer to 400 microns. We'll try that in a second. Okay, we're running a time test. We're a minute into the test. Collecting fresh liquor. See it going in the bucket. And the cake is coming out nice and uniformly. We're at two bar of 30 psi. And we're keeping the screw at um, 60 hertz, which is 20 RPM in this press. Um, as I mentioned, as the press tends to bridge, unless we keep poking at it, uh, that's because the inlet hopper narrows down. Uh, this is our testing with the screen that has the 008 to 010. Uh, that's uh, 200 to 250 micron screen. I don't see a lot of press liquor here. We'll see what happens when I try the larger opening. Okay, this is the uh, second test today. We've changed screens. The slot width is twice as great. And you can see we're forcing a lot more sludge Fines. Cake is coming out just great. We're getting out put more water, but um, and we're running a time test. Uh, here's a, a quick overview of the shop, uh, screen department, raw material for making screens. Here's a pretext for making uh, presses or parts of the screen. More and more screens were uh, loaded with screen, screen department, welding up screens on fixtures, uh, welding up screens. Over an assembly, they're working on a press there, getting the screw ready for it. A little threader we put together. Another press looks like just about finished. Another press getting started, it's going to have. Uh, wide discharge to the press cake. That's, uh, some bars get cut out of that and we have a, a funny shaped screen. Uh, a side hill static gravity screen uh, being assembled. And we sell those as an accessory for our presses. And here's a press that's uh, destined to go... Um, this one's going to India for coffee grounds. And there you see the plates for building a 30-inch press, that one's big, and frames for presses. And I haven't gotten over to the machine shop, screw assembly fixture, another gravity screen, build them in pairs. Here's flights that we use uh, to build screws. We're in the uh, uh, screw department. Uh, we've got screws and top of screws. Um, we're welding up flights on a screw, checking out a screw, working on another in a picture, hard surfacing going on that one. Anyway, that's what the screw department uh, looks like. 